I'd like to uh, welcome everyone back um, and say uh, thank you very much to our publishers for syndicating this. Uh, we've got Justin TV, Future Publishing, Adrance, Adotis, Growmap, Future, Famous Publish, Famous Bloggers, uh, Business Community, Viglink Side, obviously, MarineNewlands.com, um, and obviously this whole series is brought to you by Blogworld and sponsored by Viglink. So over to the first question, uh, Chaz, how much money can publishers make? I, I think the, the answer is, is proportionate to audience interest. If, if you look at the internet as a whole, it's estimated that 40% of the pixels on the internet are image content. And that probably holds true for many publishers. And what, so, so that says that the 40% of the pages of your website are perhaps not being monetized today. And if, if, you, if you look at what drives advertising spending, it tends to be user engagement and the ability to target. And so right. through interactive images, if you can engage more deeply with an audience and engage with them in a quality way, and through services like Luminates and Stipples, you can target advertising, there's an opportunity for publishers to make an unlimited amount of money relative to their audience size. And Ray, uh, answering the same question, I mean, how much money are your publishers making? Is there a kind of ratio, some, some, uh, types of, um, some types of content monetization, say, with, so if you're making 100% with Google AdWords or with other ads, you're likely to make a 10% uh, with an image, is there any kind of ratio in relation to other types of ads, or um, how are you seeing that? Not that, not that we're tracking in that way. Uh -huh. For for medium and larger publishers, um, the engagement rates uh, around stippled content uh, typically outperforms uh, display and other content on the same page. Mm -hmm. So for our advertisers, uh, most medium and large publishers uh, that are able to command direct advertising on their mm -hmm. own. Uh, those publishers sell through Stipple at the same rate as the other ad units on the page. Yeah. And so if this is a premium placement um, and they're charging a $30 CPM for click rates of 1%, I'm making yeah. that up, uh, Stipple's click-through rates and engagement rates typically outperform uh, those of the display ad. And so large publishers are able to charge for the Stipple unit at the same price that they're able to charge for the display unit and not dilute the display unit. And so it's additive, mm -hmm. typically for the large um, uh, for the large and medium publishers. Now, we have lots of smaller publishers that, that are also very, very important to us uh, who can't go out and, and, and bring in millions of dollars in kind of standalone advertising. For those publishers, we see a fully blended rate. I mean, again, this is across all publisher categories and mileage may vary for a given site, um, but it's on the order of about 40 cent uh, CPMs, fully blended across all of the small publisher categories keeping in mind that medium and large publishers are typically able to command whatever their standard rates are. And, and something ready to, to add to that, something that Ray brought up that I think is very important to, to publishers thinking about this, is if you think about your display advertising that tends to be on the right-hand side of the page in a banner blindness ghetto, we're seeing as an industry click-through rates that are below 0.1%. The engagement rates that we see at Luminate, and I'm sure they're similar to yours, 20% of readers are interacting with an wow. image and That's opening amazing. up the content experience. So if you if you compare sub 0.1% to 20%, there's an opportunity here to for publishers to uh, both better serve their consumers with content as well as generate a, a, a new channel of revenue. How yeah. do you see that with um, with uh, in text from Viglink? Uh, you know, it's a very similarly difficult question where you you know calculating how much a publisher can make uh, you know is challenging and it varies dramatically by the publisher. Uh, you know, we do tend to see people within the range of what they make on AdSense, uh, you know, making that with Viglink as well. Uh, it, it's great to have a comparable. I think you guys compare to display ads, we compare yeah. to AdSense, uh, but, but it's, it's hard to give an absolute number without getting in on the site. I actually, the next question for you guys is, um, you know, how do users tend to react when you get objections? What are they? Uh, why don't we start with Chaz? Sure. I mean, the, 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 as I mentioned a second ago, the 20% of users on average who are presented with an image that has more content <coughs> beneath it are engaging that content. And so 20% engagement rate is one, <coughs> one indicator to us that users like what they're getting. At Luminate, we see that, that the time spent per image is about seven seconds. It's increased by seven seconds when there's further content there. So we're getting very positive feedback from users and the publishers that deal directly with those users. Right. You know, in our office, we have a, we have a phrase that sits on, on the wall if you walk in, and it says, why would a user mouse over a photo today and forever? 
Uh, at Stipple, we fundamentally believe that people want to engage with photo content for only one reason, and that's to answer a question, to get a question accurately answered. Who is that gentleman? If I saw a photo of the guys on the stage, who's that guy? Who's that? What's he wearing? What are they doing? What are they talking about? Providing accurate information to users. Stipple has chosen to otherwise stay out of the user's way. So in terms of users' complaints, we've actually found it to be well tolerated across a wide range of sites uh, because the user interface is designed to be user initiated. That is, you see nothing until you mouse over the photograph. When you mouse over the photograph, you have a choice of what's displayed to you. If you want to find out who the person is, touch the person tag. If you're curious about a product, touch the product tag. When you're done looking at it, there's no extra actions required for the user to click away or anything special. Our content goes away as fast as it came. And uh, for those reasons, we've, you know, we, we don't believe that good for advertisers and publishers needs to be bad for users. We fundamentally reject that notion. And so we try in everything that we build to really respect the fact that, hey, we're users first, nobody likes to be spammed, and to deliver information that people want to see when they want to see it. Um, yeah. Cool. Thank you. In our next segment, we're going to be talking about installation options and how these services really work.